I just thought I'd do a quick video showing the my Stirling engine on its base. Now this is a kit made from a kit from Forest Classics. This part here is part of the kit. The base and these bits are not. So those bits I made myself. Now this here is a reservoir for meths and that reservoir feeds through into this other side here and so you can then get meths up into the meths burner and then that makes it run but before you run it you need to put a little bit of oil on just a tiny drop of oil in the cylinder oil there and there some more there and there and a tiny bit of oil on there and then it'll run which is what I'm about to do now is to fire it up so if you bear with me a sec I'll put this on the tripod and we'll fire it up Right now, just another thing, I uh, thought I'd explain how these work. We have here a displacer cylinder, and that's a power piston, a power cylinder. And if you start off here, you've got a body of air up here which gets hot, and when that gets hot, the air expands and it pushes that piston out. And as the piston goes out, the displacer moves up to this end. The hot air goes through, as it happens, goes either around, or in this case around and through, the displacer piston, and moves down to the cold end. And when it moves down to the cold end, the air shrinks and sucks the piston back in. Now one of the things about this particular engine, it's, it's sold in the UK by Forest Classics, they still sell it, it's $42.99, I will put a link in the description down below. But that um, displacer piston is actually just wire wool. And as the hot air moves through the wire wool, it heats up the wire wool and cools down the air. So there's less heat you need to take out there. And then when the hot air, the cold air comes back through, it gets warmed up by the wire wool. And so it's already hotter when it gets here. And that makes the engine much more efficient. Anyway, enough talking. Let me just oil it up and fire it up. So I'm just going to put a tiny drop of oil here. Here. Tiny drop of oil there. A tiny drop of oil there. Spit it over a little. Let's put some meths in. I'm just going to tip this up so as it gets right the way through and start soaking the wick on the other side. Not yet light. There we go. Mess burns with a very, very, very almost colourless flame. So just give it a minute to uh, warm up. So if you try and start it early, it won't start. That is burning, is it, Ben? Yes. It And as it warms up, it'll pick up speed. A 
and just because I can, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, show a bit more detail about the nice machining and polished aluminium base. As I say, it doesn't come in the Forest Classics kit, but uh, it's one I made for it because it looks much better than the wooden case it comes, wooden base it comes on. So here we go. You have there, you can see the reflection of the engine running in there and indeed over there and there you have it that's the Sterling Engine basic kit from Forest Classics with my own homemade base out of a very large heavy slab of aluminium and indeed a bit of aluminium bar. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.